The 2020 school year was filled with many unexpected changes due to COVID-19. But although the classroom doors closed, learning continued online. It's Wednesday, April 22nd. It's Tuesday, April 28th. It is Friday, May 1st. Since that time, Northeast ISD has worked hard to improve that process. Since parents will have a choice of either traditional or online learning this fall, it's important that virtual lessons be as close to in-person as possible. What goes at the end of the sentence? Period. Awesome. It really kind of changed the game. We're Jacob Goyasso is working as a summer school principal. He's joined teachers and fellow administrators in forming a program that would improve the distance learning experience using lessons learned from the spring. Me. As we set up the training for summer school, we were really looking at the five key areas the Northeast has identified to master. So what does the digital uh, space look like? What platforms are we using? How do we bring in SEL relationship building into the distance learning model? Um, how are our teachers going to organize and deliver the content? How are students able to independently practice what they're learning from their live Zoom lesson? So here's what we're going to do. Um, everybody go back to week four and open up group story. Our, our teachers definitely went above and beyond to to make sure that this program was valid, was was uh, productive. Delia Gauna is another summer school principal. She says it was important to develop distance learning into a more guided and personal model after hearing from parents about their experience in the spring. They need a little bit more reassurance that it was going to be more interactive and that they were not going to be the ones doing the instruction, but the teacher was going to be doing the instruction. Virtual learning involves a blend of synchronous and asynchronous instruction. That means any ISD will use a blend of two models, live lessons with real-time student participation or synchronous, as well as a more self-paced online classroom using pre-recorded lessons and guided support, or what's called asynchronous. Son zero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. The district is also ensuring students have everything they need to learn from home. The challenge was from the beginning, making sure that they had the technology to support the initiative that we were having this summer. So we went from a one device per family model to a one device per student model for summer school. Just wanted to let you know that I had fun today and I can't wait to do it tomorrow. And through daily live lessons, interactive assignments, social emotional learning meetings, and even virtual field trips, students and teachers are excited to take on this new way of learning. You have two minutes, try to solve this. And if you get stuck, don't keep working. Just wait and we'll solve it together. Skyla Garcia teaches fourth grade this summer. She says it only took a few days for students to get adjusted to the online classroom. After about three days, it was awesome. We were in a routine, nine o'clock every morning. They were ready. They were waiting for me to turn on the Zoom. Everybody knew that they could turn on their microphones when I let them in and I let everybody greet everybody just like they would in a normal classroom. Garcia says she's enjoyed getting kids excited to log on every day. We did show and tell, we did writing, we did drawing, we did art, we've done everything like math, science, reading, social studies, we've watched videos, like everything can be done on, online. It's a little bit weird, but it's not bad. And it's been a community effort to learn over time what works and what doesn't when it comes to learning the virtual way. Absolutely, Vincent. Say it with some confidence, because you've got this. The last four weeks has been amazing. I, um, like, I tell everyone how excited I am. NEISD provided so much training and they gave us so many resources and so many different ideas on how to make these lessons digitally friendly, interactive, and the kids loved it. And whether it's in-person or online instruction, parents are encouraged to choose what works best for their family. It's doable either way. I think it does require a sense of, of support, both from the school and home. To, to build that motivation. If this is our new reality, I think we are gonna be able to provide a solid, solid
solid instruction so that kids continue to progress and, and, and get a really good education from Northeast Idaho. It, it definitely was a learning experience like we've never had before. I think it was just continued growth. I, I'm excited to see where it takes us this fall.